my name is Alyssa Enright, and I'm here with the head of Protected Retirement at Nationwide, Kathy Morosco, to talk about a Nationwide Retirement Institute study with recent data that shows one in four women in the workplace fear they are on the wrong track for retirement. So, Ms. Morosco, if you're ready, I just have a few questions for you. Sounds great. I'm ready. Great. So, um, so for my first question, um, I understand that in the survey, um, the majority of women feel like they, work, working women feel like they are on the wrong track of for retirement. And so why do women tend to feel this way about their retirement? That's a great question, Alyssa. There's so many factors. Many of the women struggle with determining how long they need their retirement savings to last. So 60% of women said they really struggle with this issue about knowing how long their savings needs to last, and especially considering longer lifespans. So women typically live five years longer than men. And many women are concerned about health care costs, Social Security not being available when they're ready to retire, and managing expenses. All of that coupled makes it hard for women. 52% are worried about outliving their income in retirement. Most women are participating in their employer-sponsored retirement plans, similar rates as men but they may not know about a new solution that's available in the market for their 401k plans. When we did a survey, three out of four women say they wish that their 401k provided pension-like income. And this nationwide survey also said women believe pension-like income would reduce their stress, improve their financial security, and offer peace of mind. And so with these solutions that we call them at Nationwide Protected Retirement Solutions, they provide guaranteed lifetime that they can't outlive, and they also help against market volatility, protection against market volatility. And so like I saw in the um, study, in the survey, that um, only a small portion of women have diversified their portfolios when investing or have like looked for other investment options that offer protection during economic uncertainty. And so how can more women be encouraged to perhaps invest and seek options for protection? Yes, they should talk to their uh, employers about these protected retirement solutions if they're not available. They, if they have access to an advisor, they could talk to their advisor about protected retirement solutions. You know, Alyssa, that it's, it's you know, I look at these stats. I look at the stats that say 15% of women are only familiar with planning for accumulation. But the other one that's kind of staggering is that only 6% of women are familiar with planning for decumulation. And so they need help. They need help from their employers. They need help from advisors if they have access to one. And what is decumulation exactly? It's when you're drawing down your money in retirement. And why do women specifically need help with that? A lot of women started their careers later, you know, caring for a loved one, caring for family at home. Um, and so they started the career late. They may need uh, help, more assistance in helping with saving for retirement. What are employer-sponsored retirement plans? So they're defined contribution plans. Sometimes they're called 401k, 403b, 457. But really, they're investment vehicles while you're working to save for retirement. And how could they be beneficial for perhaps like working women who are going into retirement or making a retirement plan? As an employer... They uh, have the fiduciary duty to select the best investments, you know, the look at fees, really making it an, an, an investment appropriate vehicle for saving for retirement. Many employers offer match contributions, so matching some percentage of what the participant, that employee, puts into their savings account their 401k, 457, 403b. They're a great investment vehicle for saving for retirement. 
When it does come to retirement or perhaps just finances in general, why do women perhaps feel like they could like feel like they have more anxiety than men when planning? In our survey, Alyssa, roughly three quarters say they wish they understood count compounding interest sooner and sought guidance on retirement planning earlier. In our survey, also four in, in, in 10 women would recommend planning for retirement, not just saving at an earlier age. So do you feel perhaps there's an educational gap that needs to be closed when it comes to finances? Definitely, Alyssa. Definitely, we need to do more education. Record keepers like Nationwide could do more education. Advisors, uh, the plan sponsors, these employers could do more education as far as savings. And how could perhaps um, like more women when it comes to planning their retirement, um, what type of education or like what kind of sources, if you could think of any, should they go to to learn more? Nationwide, as a record keeper, of these types of plans, the 401ks, 403b, 457, has a lot of education available on its website. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, and we've seen a lot of plan sponsors also leverage the record keeper for education, but they also have education, and then advisors have education. What are some solutions that um, that women can make to help them plan their dream retirements? Well, I mentioned a protected retirement solution before. They're available inside of a plan and they act like pension-like income. So meaning they have that guaranteed income for life that you can't outlive. And many of the solutions, these protected retirement solutions offer uh, protect against market volatility. And so that gives you know women, and men, more peace of mind, more financial security about their retirement savings. How could, how would perhaps um, planning for retirement differ for perhaps, um, for, for perhaps a woman who has, who has both worked and who has, um, and perhaps a woman who hasn't worked? So for the working woman, they could leverage their 401k plan or 457 or 403b, depending on the type of company. And you know, should take advantage of any matching contributions that their employers offer. Should take advantage and ask their employers about these protected retirement solutions so they can guarantee their uh, savings, guarantee that income for life that they can't outlive. Women that do not work uh, there are other options. There are IA rollovers, things outside of the plan that they could use for an, a savings vehicle. But remember, women historically live longer. Like I said earlier, they live longer uh, than the average man by five years. And so they have longer to plan for in retirement. So is why we think that these protected retirement solutions where they can't outlive are really suited not only for men, but women that have that historical uh, longer lifespan. Perhaps um, when a woman sh is planning her retirement, how should she plan to perhaps um, maybe one day be a widower? So there's a couple of things I can think of. Some of these protected retirement solutions have, have joint options. So if their husband uh, is working and could, could um, partake, sorry, in a protected retirement solution, they could offer, they could sign up for the joint option and make sure that their spouse, in this case, the, the woman is protected as well with income that they can't outlive. How would perhaps a retirement be like reshaped or like replanned if perhaps a woman got divorced? So the protected retirement solutions that I've talked about allow for, if that should happen, a divorce and allow you to uh, change your options based on the divorce. Yes, and um, I also read in the survey that there's something called a pension, the pension-like income stream, which many women wish there was. And so what is that exactly and how would it help? Yeah, the pension-like income stream is, it, it's like the best of both worlds. If you remember, Alyssa, uh, maybe your parents or grandparents had pensions 
where they had a you know defined benefit plan that provide guaranteed income. So now, you know, as we shift from from de defined benefit to defined contribution plans, those same benefits can now be available with this pension like income. And, you know, it offers things like guaranteed income for life, but also with an investment within your 401k, which you can invest, um, you know, as you like to invest versus necessarily to find benefit plans. They were not able to, a, a, an employee like myself was not able to invest, that the company did that for you. So it gives you the control, it gives you liquidity, it gives you access to your money, um, but also giving you the option for protected income. Should perhaps um, someone's keep, perhaps um, keep still invest even if they are in retirement? Yeah, many of our protected retirement solutions, Alyssa, have what we call a high watermark. So if they continue to invest, they can get even more income in retirement. Perhaps um, if a woman got divorced while in retirement, how would that also change the retirement? So the, a divorce allows you to take changes to your uh, options, to your guaranteed lifetime income options. And so you'd contact your record keeper to help with making those changes to your lifetime income stream. And anything else that perhaps we haven't talked about that should be mentioned? I think we talked about it, but just like to reinforce, you know, Nationwide does offer a suite of solutions, protected retirement solutions that can help plan sponsors, offer participants guaranteed income for life and protection against that market volatility. So I urge all employees to ask their employer if they've considered a protected retirement solution. And if for any of the plan sponsors out there, I ask you to go to your advisor or consultant and ask them about protected retirement solutions. Music